Ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing? Naturally, I'll be playing a video game, but you know what? I'm going to be doing something else. A little special uh, for you guys. What I got right here, a, a while back ago, or a couple of episodes from Metal Gear Solid, I said I was going to make the snake match. I haven't made it yet. <laughs> I got the pistol, though. I, got, I didn't get the, not the snake match pistol. Here, hang on. I just got, um, I said I was going to make it. So right now I got the pistol to make it for. So I'm going to open it up and show you what we've got right here. And we got this guy right here. It's a, ba it's a basic, uh, it's a basic 1911, uh, 1911 Colt. Orange tip and everything. So, nice airsoft pistol. Uh, it takes green gas, which is what I like. Um, let just take the safety off. There you go. This basically has most of the stuff that I need to make the snake match. Um, for the slide, um, the most important part for the slide was that it had a groove right here and a groove right here. The sighting is okay. Um, let me see what else this gun actually has that's okay about it. The trigger is, is already silver, but the original trigger was a six was a six holes instead of three. But I can live I can live with that. So this is not going to be a hundred percent exact. Um, the uh, the hammer is a little bit more uh, f is a little bit more out, just a little bit. It's like it's more out instead of because uh, this one's like more dug in. And the um, uh, the slides uh, the 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 back safety was not as cur it's it's not curved upward. It's more of like a just grooved in like a like the like the uh, basic nineteen eleven the basic nineteen eleven. It did have the uh, the second safety uh, slot right here, but this one was supposed was supposed to be silver, along with uh, the slide release lock button, the um, uh, the the hang on, let me get the the the, the safety uh, hammer and the um, I'm sorry, not the, the the clip release and this is the slide the slide release, and also about the slide release, it was also an extended slide release because whenever the uh, the gun was like that snake wasn't able to uh, snake was able to put the slide uh, catch the slide release right here where his thumb was instead of going right here to re to release it to shift your hands it was very uh, fully customizable and everything so what we're going to do is we're going to well I got to order some parts for this because I need this uh, the the hands to be to be uh, brown and I need some parts to be silver so I do have some um, I have a paint remover which it's, it's a heavy duty paint remover that should be able to remove uh, just some of the paint because in the original pist in the original pictures uh, on the airsoft pistol th it's the gun's all black and it has some uh, silver parts. However, in the original game, he even mentions that the slide is actually polished, not the full slide, just on the s just on the side right here, and the uh, the grips uh, the grip grooves inside the grooves are black. So both sides is going to be silver. The slide um, the slide my god the Clip release button is going is going to be silver. The slide release is also going to be silver, but I might order a new part for it. The trigger, um, I'm sorry, not the um, the hammer is going to be silver. The safety, uh, the thumb th safety is going to be silver, and the secondary safety is going to be silver as well. We also need to uh, put a um, we need to take the orange tip off and actually put a threaded uh, barrel at the other end of it, and that'll actually complete the the snake match pistol. We will also uh, put a suppressor on it as well. And we also need to add the uh, the, um, the brown uh, the brown uh, uh, grooves. We also might just maybe I haven't decided yet that we might also uh, put the uh, the um, uh, the knife groove in there so we can actually f uh, uh, hold the knife in there uh, nice and uh, comfy so we can switch from a gun battle to a knife fight. So first things first, we have to remove the orange tip, which is one of the easiest parts of, of doing this. So um, we have to take this gun apart. So unload it. Slide release. Now for this, for the 1911 Colts, it's a weird way of, it was actually kind of a similar way of doing it for like the same as the Beretta. You gotta push right here in the button. There's a button right here, I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, you gotta push in, really push in. And you'll notice that the slide release lock right here will actually start to come out just a little bit. But what we actually need to do now is we need to move the slide a little bit. Not all the way back, hang on, let me just, I think it's, yeah, there you go, it was a little bit jammed. You need to move it a little bit. If you could notice right there, there's a two there's two parts. One right here is where the slide is act the slide release slide release actually uh, goes in to lock it up. And there's another part which is right here, which is where we need to put that. So when we uh, push the button now, the whole thing should come out. So we need to hold that in. Uh, it's actually a little bit hard to get this out, so sometimes you might need to use something uh, to get it in there. Like a hang on, I have a knife. Go. I 
have this little nice little cool knife. I have, oh, you can't see it because the green screen is just all in effect. It says Fox Sound on it, but whatever. All right, so let me just get that release out. There we go. Okay, so put that away. This is the, this is the, uh, the, slide, uh, the slide release. The button was right here, it was in the back. You could just put that in, and this actually releases the slide. So I can, I, most most 19, 1911 Colt parts are actually um, universal, most of them. So I could actually get a piece like this in silver with the, with the extended release lock, so I can actually match it exactly like the snake match. So now with that out of the way, we can actually remove the gun like that, the way how the boss does it in Metal Gear Solid, um, um, <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 3. So, we're gonna put this aside because we do need to take it apart. We just need the hammer, the uh, safety release, uh, is the hammer, uh, thumb safety, and the secondary safety. That's all we need to paint sil uh, to paint silver. So we're gonna put the clip and that aside. We're gonna work on the slide itself. Now, to take this apart, there is a spring. Uh, there's a spring and the guide rod, which we just push down. Well, actually, the slide's coming with it. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if you guys can see, so I apologize. There it comes. Just be careful. You you actually need you're gonna need this later, so just memorize where all the stuff is, or just watch this video. You know, I should definitely uh just bring the camera down a little bit, or I don't know. I don't know. I'll fix it later. Okay. Now, <clears throat> this part's gonna be interesting. To take uh this the the bar uh, the the inner barrel out is what you have to do right now is up front. It, oh, well, it's already there. Is a is is a button which basically you just push in, and this part. Also, oh yeah, this part also needs to be painted silver as well. So that part just comes out. You twist it off, and there you go. So this also needs to, need, needs to be silver. Now, button part that we just pushed in comes out from the bottom. There you go. And now, the barrel, the out, inner barrel comes out. It's supposed to come out through here. There it goes, just like that. So now you get the slide, which I'm going to paint. Well, not paint. I'm going to remove the paint. And this one is the actual barrel itself. Well, the first step is what we're going to do is more, we're going to remove the orange tip. Now it is, a, now take note guys, this is illegal to do uh, in some states and the state that I'm in it just happens to be, um, it's frowned upon I'm going to say. Not necessarily, not necessarily illegal, just the only thing you just can't do is you can't just go outside and walk around with this. That's bad and you will get shot for that and you will, if not get shot, you will get arrested and this will get compensated. These are more for collectible uses and more for cosmetic uses. I never bring them out. The only time I actually have brought uh, gu guns out was either A, filming a movie, which I let the, I do let the police know or let people know and I have a permit to do a movie, or B, skirmishing. We do uh, BB, BB gun fights and I, I've only done like maybe a, a couple of BB gun fights. Um, I'm thinking about also doing like a BB gun uh, target match with Joe, but that's, uh, that's for another time. Uh, for, for the show. So, um, the way how I get these uh, orange tips off is I use pliers. So, and I don't have any pliers with me. So, <laughs> we'll be right back. Okay, so, I got some pliers. So, best way of doing it is just like this, just so you don't actually just, just grab it all the way at the end and just start pulling at it. It is glued. If it does break, it's okay, just like this. If it does break, it's fine. You could actually, it, it's actually sometimes a little bit easier for me to actually get the, uh, the, bear, uh, the orange tip from the inside. So yeah, we just took off most of the orange tip, but there's still some inside. And most of these 1911s, uh, airsoft guns, they usually already have a threaded barrel inside. Sometimes, well, the, the threaded part is inside, so all we just need is just an, an outer thread. Oh, fuck. Okay, so that just came right off. And this does not have a threaded barrel, so that's not good. Yeah, there's no thread in, threading on the inside, so damn. But that's fine. What I can do is I'm go I uh, I can basically uh, purchase or I can get another uh, uh, 45 AC uh, barrel exactly like this, but with the barrel on the inside being threaded. So uh, this is obviously not going to be done in one shot. This is obviously not going to be done in a one shot video like I was planning on doing, but. Um, it's gonna take a couple of a uh, couple of tries and everything. So we'll put that. We'll put the barrel aside and we'll uh, uh, do. We could do the slide. We can do this. Uh, that piece doesn't need to be silver. This piece needs to be silver. Uh, we have to take this gun. We have to take the rest of this apart. Just the um, uh, the grips. 
the slide release. I'm sorry, not the, the thumb safety, secondary safety, and the hammer. We need to take uh, and and the clip release. We need to take apart and uh, remove the paint for that. So, uh, I'm gonna splice this all up. I don't know how, but we'll. Uh, for me, it's gonna be a while. For you guys, it's gonna, it's gonna be instant. So we'll, we'll see you in a couple seconds. Okay, so crisis averted about the uh, third the barrel part. I just put the gun back together because um, I just recorded this and it didn't re uh, didn't record. I don't know why, but um, whatever. So I was able to solve the threaded barrel part with using this gun. This is my uh, 1911 silver baller from the game uh, the game um, uh, Hitman, which I did make myself because I was uh, what I did was um, whatever. This one was easy to make, but the snake match is going to be a little bit difficult. But and what made it more difficult was the fact that uh, this one, this gun already had a threaded barrel inside. And my original idea was to take the uh, barrel and swap it out. But the barrels are actually different sizes and they use different components. What, what, uh, however, what I was able to do with this one, which I would not recommend. Because what I did was the, ad uh, the adapter right here, which I just took off. If I can. Hang on. It's going to take some time. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so oh fuck me. So here's the threaded the threaded barrel the 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 adapter. And what I did was, which I wouldn't recommend, when I had the barrel out, I just simply just kept going at it and twisting and pushing and twisting, push and twist, push and twist, push and twist, and I was able to strip the um the this barrel instead of stripping this. Now, like like I said, I wouldn't recommend it because there is a possibility you can actually strip this, but. This is look desperate times, desperate, desperate measures. So I was actually able to thread this barrel. Now the benefit about about this actually is is the original 1911 uh, uh, Colt Snake Match, it actually looked exactly like this with the threaded barrel on the outside, just just exactly like that. So once I get the adapter for this gun, I'll just leave it on there and I won't even take it off, because uh, if I thread it anymore, God forbid, I could probably damage uh, both barrel, uh, both this bar this threaded barrel and this barrel. But as you can see inside. It's threaded. It's a little, a little sloppy, but you know what? It'll fuck me. It's a little sloppy, but it'll work. All right. <laughs> all right. So in the meantime, I'm gonna just put this gun back together, and I gotta order some. Uh, just I gotta order the, um, uh, the adapter, and the suppressor for the snake match. Now I don't think I'm gonna be using the same exact uh, 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 suppressor, but I do need to use the same exact, uh, 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 same exact adapter. So that's gonna be, uh, the bad part. Because this uh, suppressor for the um, uh, 47 pistol, 47 pistol silver baller, it's a little thick. Because usually the original, uh, the original suppressor was a little bit, slightly longer and a little bit more skinnier. But this one is, I mean, if I can get this one, then fine. That's the only one I can get. But this one's still just as good. But anyway. So in the meantime, what we're gonna have to do with this gun is we're gonna have to take it apart again. There we go. We're gonna have to take it apart again. And uh, I was gonna say spray paint. No, no, no. We're gonna take. It's already painted. We're gonna take the paint off. The uh, clip release button. The uh, safety hammer. The back safety. Slide release, which I don't know if I'm gonna do because I am. I need to. I, I am gonna purchase a slide release lock with the extended part. But I'll just do that just for fun. And the uh, outer barrel. I also need to purchase, as I mentioned, oh, and the hammer as well. I gotta paint, take the paint off, and as well, I gotta take, uh, uh, I gotta purchase the brown rubber, um, uh, rubber grips, and also I'm, I'm still thinking about it whether or not if I should cut um, a knife part of it, so I'll be able to be able to hold a gun with the with the gu hold, hold the knife with the gun, so I can switch between a gun battle or a knife fight. So, that's going to take some time for me, but for you, it's just going to happen in a couple of seconds, so we'll be right back. We're going to test out the paint remover. you got to be protected, guys. We're going to use this. It's a premium paint and a proxy remover, um, and also it's professional home and marble and all that stuff. you got to get a yada, paint and proxy. It also d does, you know, all the other crap. Basically, it's good for stuff that I want that I want to do it for. Um, we're gonna just test it out on this, this the, the slide release lock, which, like I said, I'm either gonna get another one and everything. We're doing this indoors, you're not supposed to, I'm supposed to do it outdoors, but I'm as protected as I can. I don't know if you guys can actually hear me in this in this respirator. Um, 
I look like Snake, the Venom Snake from uh, from the Phantom Pain. I'm gonna try using it with this. This is a um, blue tape. It's a masking tape, so it's gonna. I'm gonna test it out, see if it would work. Because I need to um, for the slide, I need to use the blue tape just to um, make sure that. Uh, Ugh, a little bit hard to breathe in there. I'm gonna use the blue tape on the slide because on the slide it's a it's a very controlled uh, uh, um, layer that I need to put on it. So just to make sure that I don't mess up, I'm gonna put the blue tape on it, and I'm just gonna test it out and see if this blue tape actually does work. Once again, I'm also testing it out on this thing to see if this stuff would actually work. Now I'm gonna get the camera in a good position. I'm sorry if the if the thing I didn't even see if that was even a good good position or anything like that. Okay. I'm going to try to talk very loud, and if I'm talking a little bit too loud, I apologize, but I'm, in, I'm in, going to be in the mask right now, so I'm putting on the mask right now. Okay, so like I said, I'm sorry if I'm talking a little bit too loud. I've got a yelling in here, so um, yeah, hu humor me for a little bit. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just wearing this mask so the vocal cord parasite doesn't get me. We're gonna open this up, and we're gonna put very, very little on the. Uh, hang on, hang on. What does it say? Turn tightly, close tightly, push to open, down and turn. All right, so basic stuff. All right, this is very hard to open. I need a strong man that can open a jar of pickles, because I am not that man. I'm a little child, a mere child of thirty. I'm not really 30 years old. Okay, it's a little bit difficult to open. All right, gonna fast forward this. Okay, so, so for about an hour of opening the paint remover, we finally loosened the cap. So let me just put on the mask. Again, I'm gonna be screaming, so I do apologize. I should definitely like crack a window open or some shit like that. All right. This mask on, make me look like Venom Snake, like I'm ready to kill my teammates and everything. So I'm such a team telling fucktard. Okay. So like I said, we're going to be testing this out. I'm going to be using Q-tips instead of the paintbrush. I'll be using the paintbrush on the slide. Like I said, finally got it to, re to remove. We're going to just put very, very little. If this is more like a paste. Too much. That's good. Shit. Try not to get in this tub because I actually use this. Don't get any of this stuff on your skin. It'll burn. And it will not be fun. You'll have to go. If it does get on your skin, God forbid, just wash it off really fast. Hopefully that should work. Okay. So we got a nice gob, gobbly goop, right on this Q tip. We're going to brush it over and see what happens. I'll leave it like that for a couple of minutes. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's only 15 minutes. Let me just read the directions because you know I should have read the directions before. Uh, wear chemical resistant strobes, da -da -da -da. pour into a metal container, apply uh, paintbrush, small area. Uh, brush on one direction, only leave the area, one strip, do not work. After 15 minutes, test scrap, small area, see if the finish is ready to be removed. Remove loosened finish by gently scraping off the direction of wood, grain, plastic, stripping tool, a toothbrush, toothpick, or stripping brush will remove old, fa old finish brush release. Multiple coats, stubborn finishes, require repeat appliances. Clean. Use the clean as an friend to dip and wash. Da -da 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 so it should be removed completely. Okay. So put a nice layer on there. We gotta wait about 15 minutes and see if it strips off. We're gonna be using um I think it's like a, a wool brush, a metal wool brush, and see if the paint strips off. So we'll be right back in 15 minutes. Okay. So a little bit more than 50 minutes has passed. I'm back, how you doing? So a little bit more than 50 minutes has passed. I'm gonna take a steel wool, and we're gonna just see if the paint comes off. 
Very, very little, unfortunately, but hang on. A little bit more. It just requires a lot of elbow grease, I guess. So very little came off, unfortunately. So this is just going to require a little bit more uh, elbow grease and uh, more this stuff. So I wouldn't recommend what I'm about to do, guys, but I'm just going to just dip it right in there. And I don't know if it's enough, so I'm going to take the other end of this and get a nice little dab of it. Just add gratuitously to it. They said apply more if necessary. It seems that it might be coming off just a little bit, but I think it's because of the first coat. Yeah, I think it's the first coat that's coming off. Alright, so I'm just going to add a nice layer to it. I'm going to leave that on there for another 15 minutes. I don't know if you guys can hear me though, so I apologize. I don't even know if you can even hear me say that, I'm sorry. So, I'm going to try this again in another 15 minutes. Okay, so, part two of the second coat. Let's see how it did. Just got a better grip. I'm not wearing my mask right now. I'll wear it in a couple of minutes when I do the second uh, part of this, which means I'm going to... I got every, all the other stuff ready. I just took I took apart the gun, and then I'm gonna start doing uh, painting all the uh, all the other gun parts and removing the paint. Yeah. I already started putting the masking tape on it, so yeah, this uh, this stuff actually actually works pretty good. Uh, it just requires a lot more elbow grease and all that BS. And when they're done, just run it under some cold, run it under some water, and then just. Uh, Right together, I guess. Okay, so let's start. Let me hang on. Let me just put the mask back on. All right. So we're just gonna give it just a little bit more paint thinner. Now that's enough. I'm gonna be careful with this stuff. All right. Now we're gonna do the piece of the resistance. I'm going to do the slide. Uh, get a nice scabbly goop on the paintbrush and just start painting. Now I masked up the slide so there shouldn't be any problems with this, hopefully. Alright, so the slide's done. Now we're gonna do the other parts. The clip the clip release button, I don't know if you can see it. Just give it a nice little gobbly goop. Just lay it right in there. Just be careful what you touch. Uh, the front barrel, this one doesn't have to be fully painted, just the front part of it. And the uh, the front and sides, just so it gets a nice, just so you can see that it will be chrome or silver at the uh, the front. So I'm just gonna put just that much. I know it really seems like a lot. It uh, probably is, probably isn't. Don't really care. The hammer. We just gotta just do the hammer part. Should be good. This piece has got to be fully painted, uh, so, uh, to, to fully removed the, the paint. Ugh, hang on. Back safety. Uh, paint's got to be fully removed on this one. And right safety, this one's the, uh, I don't even know, the uh, right safety. 
Thumb safe. The thumb safe. Thing. Don't be shy with how much how much paint remover you use. Just be careful of how much you use. That's all. And uh, let's get the other one. And this part. Now take note that you're just only removing the paint on the outside. You don't need to move, remove the paint on the inside. So it's cosmetic, not functional. Okay. So we're gonna leave that there for about 15 minutes and try to remove what we can and do us and might have to do a second coat. Now you notice I'm covered all over my hands. Now just wash uh, the gloves. Just wash the gloves off of the of the paint thinner, and hopefully that'll uh, that'll work. So we'll be right back in 15 minutes. Okay. So we're gonna see how this turned out. I'll try to remove the paint off with the brush. So I'm gonna try to start with the slide. Very little. Oops. Very little. But. Wasn't spending that much time on it. Oh, there it comes. So this is going to take a while and a lot of elbow grease, so most likely I might either fast forward this or just jump straight to when it's all done. So I'll try to fill you in on all the details. Most likely it's probably going to need another coat. Uh, find out later. Okay. So just take note, new trick that I just learned, I wouldn't recommend it though, but just try it out if you really must. Dab a little bit of it, well that was a little bit too much. And then just do it like that. Arrgh, get the fuck off, Black! That sounds so wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> but look, um, a lot of it's actually coming off. I know I'm sorry I'm not getting low enough, because right, I don't want to get myself burned or anything like that. God forbid. Okay, so the slide's gonna be a pain in the ass. They're all gonna be a pain in the ass to try to to try to get off. Whew! Because whew! There's my lack of breath that I'm not getting enough in this goddamn mask. But I know it's not gonna turn out to be perfect, but it's gonna be good enough. It might look like worn and used, like it was used back in the 1960s and brought back here and now. So hopefully if I can get that look, it'll be nice. Alright, so we're going to take a break with this one. And I'm going to move on to other parts of the actual pistol. And hopefully I can uh, show you what the uh, finishing touches is. So I'm going to uh, fast forward it or I'm just going to just basically just uh, jump, uh, jump to the other segment. So we'll see you next time. Okay. So here's the ending results. I don't know. There's not enough lighting. I'm sorry, guys. But the ending results is that it took me a, a lot, like all day, to polish, not polish. I'm sorry, um, hand wipe and polish all of these. So I was able to get the, uh, the slide, you know, half, you know, part of the slide and keep the grooves black, that part black. The hardest part was the, um, the safety um, front part. Uh, the slide release lock. Whoops, where is it? Slide release lock. I only did half of it because I just wanted to just test it out. But that's something that we're not going to be doing because I'm getting a whole new slide release lock that's going to be all silver. Uh, mag release, uh, back handle safety, and the hammer. Now, the hardest part about this now is going to, for me at least, is going to be putting this all back together. So, that's like a reverse field strip of, yeah. So, I'm going to take my time trying to do that myself. Okay. So, I actually fully assembled the, the pistol, and take a look. Oh, too close. So, it actually looks pretty cool with the black grip and everything. Um, so I get this, I get the, uh, uh, this part, I get the slide, uh, the slide, the slide release lock, um, I, I, I half did it, because I was just, you know, because I'm going to get a new, I'm going to get the whole new one, that's the extended one that'll actually, uh, fit right here. Uh, the safety and the hammer and the secondary safety so it's all functional oh and also the uh, mag release so everything is actually in pretty good condition oh, everything is in really good condition right now um, also kept the, the, the black around the sides so in the black on the top black so this actually looks really cool for uh, first time for me doing something like this. 
Uh, like I said, the gun looks really good, just the way how it is right now. But it's going to look so much better uh, when I get the rest of the parts. So that's going to be part two uh, for me at the moment. But in the meantime, I'll just enjoy the way how it is like, like this. So, we'll see. As far as I've gotten with the, uh, the, with the pistol itself is... I was able to uh, get the adapter for this gun, but I don't know. It's not. It's not really that good. It just come. Just comes right off. Kind of. Nah. Whatever. It's very. It's very wobbly on there. The the suppressor is a little bit small, but it'll it'll do. Because this is like you know this is all cosmetic and everything, and not functional. If I can get it on there, come on. But like I said, with the um. With the snake match, it already had the adapter on the uh, the outside. Yeah, the, it had an exposed adapter, so that's good. I also got the um, the extended the extended uh, re uh, re um, extended release lock. The only problem is that this is not the right size. In inside internally, it's not the right size, which is why it doesn't lock up. You have to like manually put it up there yourself. But it, it does reach the thumb and everything. It does work, but it just doesn't retrieve right back up. That's the uh, that's the problem. It's the clip. It's in the it's the clip. It's in the way because the original part. Let me uh, pull that one out. This is the original um, slide release lock. The original piece back here was uh, very small enough for it to uh, to slip right through the clip with no problems whatsoever. Well, this one's a little bit bigger. Like this one was actually probably used for an actual a real 1911 Colt. Let me just uh, pull this together. <clears throat> Alright, so I don't know if you guys can see, that's the outside, here's the inside. Um, it's a little bit fatter than the other one, as you can tell. So it just hits the, uh, keeps hitting the, the, um, the, whatchamacallit, the clip, and it won't lock up. So I have to take my, uh, uh, Dremel tool, and I need to, like, file away, little by little pieces. Yeah, see some, some of the clip is actually starting to come off on the, uh, the slide release lock right here. But in the meantime, I, I just I, I still have it on here just for the hell of it, for the style and the show. But um, I'm gonna have to uh, file more, uh, more, more, of the, more of this part down. But it still is functional, just like it doesn't lock up whenever I, I pull the I pull the slide back. This only does it when I manually do it. So, but other than that, this is still a pretty a pretty good project so far. All that we're missing right now is the uh, the brown grip, and this will be a complete project. So, in the meantime, I'm going to uh, finish the slide release lock on my own time, and once the slide, once the other uh, grips come in, I'll, I'll, I'll put that on. But I had another problem as well. Um, right here, the uh, the screw stripped, and I tried taking that out. I tried, you know, I think I mentioned this before. I tried taking that out with like um, rubber bands, uh, 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 tin foil, and everything. I'm just gonna. Have to, I, I need to purchase um, some. Uh, uh, what do they go? Those uh, screw. Uh, strip screw extractor and uh, just uh, unscrew it out myself but I also need to get a hopefully the uh, the, um, uh, the grips actually come with their own which we call it their own um, their own screws and if they don't then damn I'm gonna have to uh, you know find my own and supply and, and supply it myself so in the meantime I'm gonna fix the slide release lock on my own time and I'll come back uh, uh, to, to fill you guys in on what's the the update so We'll be right back. For the update, uh, I think it's pr it's pretty much done right now. Um, I okay. So final update, it's done. <laughs> I made the snake match. I added the um, uh, the threaded barrel uh, to to this part on the actual uh, on the actual exterior of the barrel. I I gave the uh, I, I got the uh, extended uh, extended. Uh, slide release lock so I can do it from there and obviously I get the suppressor to go with it there we go ladies and gentlemen I give you the snake match I'm sorry my green screen's just fucked up hang on let me uh let me, I can't really fix it because I don't know the lighting's all often fucked up uh, for some for some stupid reason okay just, I'll just take it off right now, so you can see green behind me. But, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the snake match. I got the brown grips and everything. They're all they're rubber. I even cut a uh, part right here just so I can fit my knife. So 
so whenever I hold the whenever I hold the gun, I can hold the gun just like that and keep it steady, so I can switch between a gun battle pew, pew. to a knife fight. Just wanted to see how this works. Get a little green gas. There's no, not, there's no BBs. It's just, it's just gas. So. Not bad. Let's uh, let's do some, uh, some test. Uh, <laughs> let's test fire with this thing with actual BB. So we'll be right back. So six shots. We're gonna test it out. Six shots. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Uh, we're gonna be shooting at a styrofoam target. Let me just shit. Well, not really shit. Let me just just dropped all the PBs. Hang on. I'm gonna be shooting at a styrofoam target. I'll show you guys in just a minute. Not a real target. It's kind of like a just a box. It's just a styrofoam box. God damn it. Got to make sure the BBs are actually in or set. You see, like they're all messed up like that. Come on. Sometimes they just kind of snap into place. There. Wait. No. 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 There. Yep. Got him. Okay. So now they're all they're all good. Give it some green gas. That's enough. It's only six shots, so I'm gonna load it up. Another gun. Keep it on safety, just in case. So before I actually start shooting, uh, that's gonna be our target. That little styrofoam white box thing. I'm gonna try to do this as best as I can, cause I've never done a test shoot like this. Safety's off. Take a look, see how the target was. Yes! Wow, it didn't penetrate anything at all. You would think that styrofoam is weak enough to actually uh, go through, but I'm gonna assure you that my 19, the 1911 uh, snake match definitely did some damage. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video about how to like make a snake match. You guys want me to make you one? Uh, I don't think I want to. Uh, it's it's a lot of work, honestly. But if you pay me enough, maybe. But like I said, hope you guys actually enjoyed this, and uh, we'll see you guys next time in another episode of the Cooperators or non-Cooperators or anything like that. Thanks.